This tutorial will show you how to make a Jeopardy style game in PowerPoint. To begin with, it's always good to have an engaging intro slide with a hyperlinked start button. Speaking of hyperlinks, this is the key to creating a Jeopardy game with clickable questions. But first, let's set up your game board. All you need to do is go to the Insert tab and select the Table dropdown. From here, you can add as many question categories and dollar values as you like. PowerPoint gives you a standard design for this table, but you can easily fine tune it to look like the real thing. Check out the article in the description below for design tips and a downloadable PowerPoint theme. Now you need to add slides for each clue and each answer. You'll be making a lot of these slides, so let's find the easiest way to do it. Once you've downloaded the PowerPoint theme, go to the Design tab and click the down arrow to access the menu. Now click Browse for Themes and find the iSpring Jeopardy theme you downloaded. This theme contains special layouts for clue and answer slides. To see these layouts or create your own, go to the View tab and click Slide Master. The clue slide contains an answer button, and the answer slide contains a button which returns to the game board. Once again, these layouts are included for your convenience in the downloadable theme file, but if you'd like full instructions, just consult the article in the description. To get back to normal PowerPoint editing mode, click Close Master View. Now let's see how to add your clues and answers. Insert a new slide, then right-click it, and select Layout. From here, you can choose the clue or the correct answer layout. The slide will already contain the appropriate button, so all you have to do is enter the text. Now that you have all your clues and answers added, all you need to do is link them to the game board. Right-click a dollar value, and select Hyperlink. Choose Place in this document, and then find the corresponding clue slide from the list. Now click OK. Continue to link all the dollar values to the clue slides with this method. Let's check how the game board works by going to the Slideshow tab. Click From Current Slide. As you can see, it works beautifully. You may have noticed that there are some transitions between these slides, and some of the clues contain audio and video. If you're not sure how to use these PowerPoint functions, check out the article in the description for more details. Now you're ready to share your Jeopardy game online. Just click Publish on the iSpring toolbar. Here in the preview window, you can see how your game looks on different devices like tablets and smartphones. Let's just rotate the device so it's easier to see. Looks fantastic! Now you can share this game with your friends via email or upload it to your website via FTP. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.